hello guys welcome to the fifth video um for the gallery i skipped the problem four because uh, i still haven't solved one of the flag uh, but i'll solve it as soon as possible meanwhile let's get started um mm -mm -mm. so looks like a simple website which hosts uh, some cute kitten pictures uh, one of the picture is missing mm, interesting okay uh, let's see the hints. It talks about some sort of a SQL query, a union in SQL again, and some sort of UWSCI subsequent Docker image. Um, let's try to open this image. How this is? So this looks like some sort of Unicode generated image. Let's go back to our main page. Uh, let's see the elements section. If you see here, okay source is fetch uh, id1 um okay interesting um let's get back to our image so it seems like this id1 is being uh, used to fetch the the name of the image because if you see here source it refers to the the directory or the name of the image and uh, that's what is being uh, retrieved here so um okay and again i know from the hints right that we have some sort of union sql injection so let's try to have some sort of union sql injection but again like what are you going to select we know for sure that this is some sort of a file name right and uh when and how union uh, union works is like it comments two of the sql syntaxes but uh both of these uh but the result of both of these uh syntaxes should have the same number of column and the data type of those uh, respective columns that the, the column that holds data should have no should be same so i mean if this returns some sort of a file name or the directory of the file image this will also return something right so you know let's let's try to you know see if there is something here like uh perhaps there is uh index.html file here so let's try you know uh, index.html uh, okay again guys so this will return this image and again this will try to return the index html so you know let's try to put a minus one here because uh obviously there is no any file with an index minus one so it will return nothing and this is going to return try to return index html if there is some file called index html well it's just internal server error right and again i know for sure from here that it has uh, some sort of application on this image running here if you google it uh you'll find a github page for this uh flask application i will say and then if you go on reading it says how to set up this uh file it tells uh you have to set up doing this, this and then you'll have a directory with app and main file so uh, uh, so perhaps guys there is some sort of a main that pi file uh, so let's try to see if we can find some sort of a main that pi file so okay and yeah so we have some sort of a file we got it it's obviously main that pi file let's open it in uh, view source mode by clicking control u so that you can get a better view so let me just explain you how this um, how this code is working so we're inputting some libraries here initializing some HTMLs uh, again 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 and we're connecting to the mysql database we're sanitizing data we have a home route uh, we are selecting id and title from album so this is uh, uh, this is one of the uh, tables in the uh, mysql uh, and again for id title in albums okay uh, we are selecting again id title and file name from photos table and this id table and file name is again being used here uh, if you remember the image tags in our home page this is where it's coming from um, and then again it's, so what soft process dot check output does is it lets you uh, run the commands and that you'll otherwise only run in your terminal uh, du uh, hyphen ch it lets you calculate the total size of the file and in case it fails this logical operator will uh, exit with uh, zero that means it will return zero and uh, an empty string dot join file slash fn for FN fns what is fns if you guys see here fns was an empty array and then we appended pfn pfn it comes from here file name uh, file name is being appended to the fns so fns has the uh, list of file name of all the pictures and then what it's doing is like it's evaluating the total size of uh, all the, of the 
files uh, and then if something goes wrong it will return zero and again this makes sense right the in uh, the space used uh, is zero right because it because it doesn't make sense right there are two images already so it evaluated the total size of two of the images but there was something wrong in this uh, broken image uh, which made it exit zero and then the total size of this file is zero so and again so that's it we again have a slash fetch root that will be this root where we are selecting the file name from foot and this is the file I was previously referring to and here is our first flag for the second flag I did and again I can see whose query I can see so it's referring to the uh, the uh, third image that's not visible so guys we already know right there is some sort of a union SQL injection let's try to explore it more with uh, with SQL map so I am already intercepting my request in the Bob suite uh, and I, I already have this request so I'm going to save it as um, save it as txt okay let me open my terminal uh, request a txt databases dump everything thread then um okay so let's uh, wait for a while Meanwhile, we can see what we found as of now. We found four uh, database tables, level five in MySQL. Uh, for level five, we have a table called photos, which has uh, three uh, entries. And then the, the final one, the file name of the final image is the second flag. Uh, yeah, and then we have one albums, which is kittens, one single album. Um, so yeah, that will be the second flag for the uh, third flag. Uh, the method of finding the size of album is suspicious. It takes really work. Be aware of environment. So it's uh, referring to how we calculate the total size of the files. This percentage s is the file names that we found here. Um, and then uh, so we have a SQL injection. We can chain it to make a remote code execution. Uh, if we can rename this uh, file name to some sort of OS commands, then we can execute these commands into the operating system of the server and we can do crazy things like creating a new file, uh, deleting something. Um, so, you know, let's try to rename uh, one of these pictures into some sort of a OS command. So let me first write down the commands and then I'll explain it to you. Um, So we are closing this SQL syntax, updating and the table called uh, photos here and file name, reading photos we are setting file name equals to semicolon because if you see here uh, we we'll like to close this command here by putting a semicolon and then uh, ls to list all the files and then this will open all the uh, file names to all the file names in, in that particular directory to list the txt with id equals to three um, and then semicolon to close the syntax commit to save this sql syntax semicolon to close this and then double hyphen to comment or everything that comes after so let's run this um, and if you want to see if we really created a, a file called list at txt uh, we can again simply then a union select let's try to see if we have a file list txt yeah and guys again uh, because uh, the previous command that we run uh, uh, a new file is created but uh, that command but this command will run only if we refresh our main page right so let's refresh this main page and now you see right out of sudden now <laughs> it's 200k total and then now let's try to see if we have some file called list at txt and that's it guys we have our own file uh, called uh, list at txt that we just created it has all the files that was present in the in the current directory uh, and our hint uh, said something about environment so every project has a environment file called dot env which holds secrets to the uh, uh, the project so let's try to see if we can uh, see what's in the environment file of this project uh, so what I would like to do is write this 
command first so it's uh, so we are again writing a new sql syntax so we are again updating photos of uh, file name to dot env uh, sorry no uh, semicolon dot env list at text so it will uh, put everything that's in the uh, that put env file into the list of txt and then commit it so let's wait uh, now let's see if we can find something in the again yeah list.txt file we don't why yeah because again we need to refresh this page let's try to refresh this page and guys this is it and then this is second flag and then this is third flag so guys that's it for this video uh if you have uh, if you guys have any question leave it down in the comment section and see you guys in the next video bye bye take care